He robbed the bat, talked about like handing the money over to on the table and stuff to him. It's called running a source. So what they're we dress up in clothes. Okay, hold on, hold on. That actually might be trade crap. What's up, team? All right, I'm so fucking excited about this video. I am gonna start putting counterintelligence on the map for you guys. As you guys know, I'm finishing up my time right now as a counterintelligence agent for the army. We are gonna give you guys the inside scoop. We, hmm, interesting. I'm sure you've noticed. We are doing it with Theo over at Combat Arms Channel. Stay tuned. Watch this video all the way through, and we are gonna do more videos like this. Why? One, because I want to. All right, this stuff is very fun for me. It's interesting. This is my element, and I think I can help you guys out and give you guys a lot of honest knowledge. You know, that's what we try and do here. We spread real knowledge, give you guys proper information with real world experiences. And we're gonna bring on some other people in the future with me and Theo to uh, hype, you, hype you guys up for videos like this and uh, encourage them because I think they will be very beneficial, not only to you guys for fun, the uh, military as a whole and the veteran community because uh, that's what it's all about. It's about the fucking team. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video, but let me know down below in the comments so I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. And if you guys want to see more stuff like this and stay tuned for future stuff, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because we post two to three times a week. If you guys want to go beyond YouTube here, feel free to check out my other social medias. Let's go ahead and send it. The reason we're technically doing this video is because one, there's like no information out on this type <laughs> of shit. Okay. It, if you guys Google it, you know, there, there, there's like three different videos and they're really not good at all. They don't kind of break anything down. Being CI, I wanted to speak on. And then also a fun fact for you guys that you might not know. So Nico and I were part of the same units. We were actually in the same recon platoon. From there, he moved on to counterintelligence. And then I actually did the same exact thing. And I didn't know until we actually got together. I saw him as a creator and we started talking. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like how we ended up following the same path and whatnot. And I want to talk about it a little bit because, again, like he's saying, there's really not a lot of information about there or about this MOS out there. So I think if we talk about it, we can sort of shed light on it because a lot of people don't hear about it, especially when they're thinking about joining the army. And when they think about intelligence, they probably think of like just human intelligence or just analyst kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. this is a cool job, I will say that. In the army, it is quite literally the closest you can get. And if you're if you're talking about even the Marine Corps, it's very respected, because um, you're in the Marine mm -hmm. Corps, uh, is the closest yep. you can get to becoming a spy. But mm -hmm. if we were to break it down, it is a spy hunter. Account, we are counter spies. I don't know how you would break that down. Yeah, that, that is a good point. So we're gonna check out a video later on that sort of compares human intelligence to counter intelligence. It's literally countering intelligence officers. We wanna team up and actually start covering a bunch of counter intelligence stuff on YouTube. Spread mm -hmm. knowledge to all of you guys because it is a career field where we need people, but we need qualified people, people who are interested, people who wanna be here but it's hard to find those qualified people and have them actually pass SISAC, which is the counterintelligence special agent course. And then it's also hard because people don't know a lot about CI. They don't know what it is. Right, right. Even in the army, people generally attribute CI to CID. We're not CID. And I can't wait to piss everybody off right now that loves CID. CID does petty shit. We do not care about someone stealing your phone. Don't give a shit. You wanna know the real difference between CI and CID? CID handles like, you know, little crimes. By definition and by the book, CI handles national security crimes. CID is felonies, so like murder, rape, drugs. Okay. So people might, might hear petty and think, oh, okay, so like, yeah, it's someone stealing from the PX or something like that. They do have the military police investigators yes. that will do that. So CID, okay, yeah, they do True. like rape and murder, pretty shitty stuff again it's not on that national security scale it won't hurt a the united states the way it was explained to me when i was going through sysac trying to become a counterintelligence agent the instructor was like cid oh my god we we don't care about that baby being drowned in the river go ahead go search it i care about yeah. the big shit the important shit and i was like damn what am i about to yeah. learn here bro i was like this shit yeah, better what? be next level dude so this video is basically like the recruitment video for counterintelligence and let me tell you right now fucking sucks 
It's terrible. <laughs> yes, it's very vague. Of course, with the job itself, of course, you can't get into like the very specific sort of courses and stuff you might get up to. But you can definitely talk about what you do on a day to day and sort of show that. For everyone who is CI out there, pull your fucking head out of your ass. Okay, stop trying to make everybody think you're cool. You're not in the fucking CIA. You have to have a top secret clearance to become CI. You have to qualify for it. You have to get it. And you have to have a TSSCI. To simplify it, it's a step above top secret clearance to become a counterintelligence mm -hmm. agent. There's that hot thing to it. And then everyone who's new to it wants to pretend like they're in the, the CIA and like they can't <laughs> talk about it. We can talk yeah, about exactly. work and shit. We just can't talk about investigations and like all the classified shit. You can let people know you're CI. It's public knowledge. But let's watch this shitty fucking video, bro. I can't wait. No one's <laughs> going to want to join after this. As well as preventing sabotage, terrorism, espionage, treason, and sedition. That's where they kind of made it a little bit dramatic there where he's like giving him the money. He's like putting it in his pocket. That is of a thing course, we do though. Again, a lot of people will see this video and be like, oh, wow, I'll just have all this money and I can just give it to people and, and you know, get some information. It's a lot more methodical than that. And you're not just going to want to give money to people because then I'm like, oh, okay, sweet. I'll take it. Oh, he's but, getting yeah. into, oh, wait, careful, careful. You're, nope. He robbed the bat, talked about like handing the money over to on the table and stuff to him. It's called running a source. So what they're depicting is us going to a foreign country and trying to gain intelligence. In the video, they talked about manipulation. So we pretend to be friends with people, foreign nationals, because we know they're linked to something. We pretend we're just a regular dude. And it comes into surveillance. And this is where you guys see the spy stuff. Okay, spy stuff. Everyone calm down. We know we're not like spies, okay? For the general public civilians is we dress up in clothes. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That actually might be trade crap and kind of stuff. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into it. And this video, again, it is a hard thing. It's just trying to make it dramatic. We don't get to carry around a bag of money. <laughs> There's paperwork. <laughs> There's a fuck ton of paperwork <laughs> to give out like 10 bucks. CIA will ruin sources because... Like Theo said, we don't want to just give away money, but the CIA will literally just pull out fucking bags of money and be like, hey, here's 10 racks. Yep. Who is it? Who's the dude? And then they'll leave. They'll, <laughs> you'll never see him again, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to give them little bits. One, because we don't have funding like that. And two, because we want them to come back and think we're their friend. There was actually a video online where after Kabul fell, they found like this room with like all this money. I was, I would imagine that that was part of like some CIA. Yeah, they don't give a person. fuck, bro. The CIA will leave millions of dollars <laughs> down there and they'll be like, oh, they can just have it. Well, we're 38, 38 seconds in, so. <laughs> Y'all about to Damn. fuck. We're tearing it apart already. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. This career field requires individuals who are personable, mature, effective communicators who possess yeah. strong analytical sure. thinking capabilities. Do you remember yeah. seeing this map when you were in that classroom? This is one classroom. I'm telling you, the CI world is very small. The counterintelligence world is very small. We've both been in this room before, me and Theo. Right. I remember doing this for surveillance. It's kind of funny how they like, okay, let's show this, but make sure you're not showing any of this stuff. So they did like the, the pan over their shoulder and you see like some of the investigation stuff, like a walk-in interview and whatnot. Don't get deterred when you hear all this shit about, oh, you have to be a good writer or stuff like that you have to be a critical thinker and you can figure it out because they're going to teach you some shit too don't worry go yeah but don't you don't have to have perfect handwriting and shit we all know i'm illiterate as fuck <laughs> army writing is like you try and take all the fancy stuff you did in school and then you take army writing which is taking all that fancy stuff out and just making it like this person did this it's boom, like boom, very boom. very easy there's templates of it so you're good collecting and processing digital oh you know what we're not gonna get in trouble if i do it like this process. <laughs> They're right in CIRs. Yeah. So Sierra Vista, you can see that little tab there. That's where this cool house is. If, if we pick it apart like this, we can't get in trouble. So they're writing CIRs, which is, as you can read right here, counterintelligence incident reports. I'm surprised they didn't like take some of this stuff out. This makes I me want to go get my CI booklet. You know, the pink one that yeah. you get? The super <laughs> hot one. Yeah. And be like, so yeah. since it's already out there, here's a, here's a CIR. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It literally is kind of like school as far as like the stipulations. And don't let this deter you <laughs> either. Don't think this is nerd shit. There's right. a lot of physical. There's a lot of active moving around, investigating, researching and stuff like that. And then I, 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 I mean, I'd say like 50% of it really is paperwork. Everything you do, you want to document it because it's going to get very sloppy. If you're doing a bunch of stuff and you're not documenting it because if some, somebody else has to, you know, follow up after you. They're yeah. not going to know what's going on if you don't write it anywhere. Yeah, and you'll get eaten alive on your reports. You know how we have yeah. like Forcecom, we have like SOCOM and like all this other shit? CI, this is public knowledge, 
it's just not well known. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Has we have our own command. It's mm-hmm. just not known. Counterintelligence. We have our own command that we we talk to. So when you're at your unit, for those of you who don't know, whatever base you're on, if you're CI and you're active duty, you legit have your own facility you go to. You get to wear like civilian clothes. You carry mm-hmm. firearms. You got your badge. You're doing all your cool shit. Feels pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You definitely just need to not get get it twisted because you need don't to get be it very professional because you go and talk to people in the units a lot don't hesitate this is the best choice i've ever made in my life it set me up for some very unique experiences both here in the united states and abroad joining the army was the best decision i've ever made in my entire life second best decision is deciding if i wanted to try out and go become a green beret or if i wanted to go counterintelligence i made the best decision of my life by going counterintelligence Cause I was already infantry and did shooting stuff like in no way, shape or form is that to the caliber of special forces. But I wanted to expand my ability of becoming a threat on an Intel level. Um, aside mm-hmm. from just shooting, right. I'll tell you guys something else. When I was halfway through SISAC, I already had six figure jobs lined up. People will fucking want you <laughs> because it's not just CI. You can do, corporate espionage you can work for businesses you like you can be the intel guy for a business uh th- there's a lot of things promise you you will have six figure jobs lined up and if you don't and you're a CI uh, agent watching this you fucked up because you know exactly what i'm talking about you're just being lazy <laughs> as fuck dude there's a lot of like special agent jobs in a lot of different fields like even the, the department of energy has their own special agents intelligence center of excellence at fort Huachuca, arizona up oh, six six nothing excellent about that place training. if i were to give advice to a potential recruit coming to this mos i would say watch your uh, typing skills if you could improve your typing skills that would be easier you don't listen to that it's nerd shit. and cyber counterintelligence uh, one on Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Inside of CI, we have how would you how would you label it? There's different categories of like, counterintelligence once yeah. you enter this like different, counterintelligence different community. Different departments. Because you have like specialities. Yes, but yeah, basically, and there's really cool like counterintelligence teams you can try out for. You can mm-hmm. get attached to fucking anybody, dude. Anybody, yeah. and there's tiers to this CI shit. I've never been able to be like you know top dog. Uh, to this CI shit, but I've been able to do some cool shit, hang out with some cool people, and uh, dude, people will get attached to SEAL teams, fucking special forces, above and beyond, and so forth. And then, like I said, internally we have really cool shit too, like cyber. Can't really yeah. talk about anything beyond that because for some fucking reason, cyber CI is super fucking classed, and they yeah. get anal about shit. But yeah, yeah. you'll learn about systems. <laughs> You'll learn about technology and systems that will fucking terrify you for the rest of your life because you didn't even know they existed, bro. I think if you're pretty savvy on cyber stuff in general, you have a pretty good capability or idea of what you can do if you're really good with cyber stuff. So you kind of understand what we're trying to talk about. Like, there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do with it. Think. <laughs> Dude, we're going to get reported <laughs> by other 35 <laughs> Lemas. I'm yeah. like, nah, uh it's, I'll Google it and I'll find something. The cool part of being CI is even on the lowest tier, you you have a national impact. Like what you're doing, yep. you're that national. line of defense for our national security. So, you know, obviously you're going to be helping out other people specifically sometimes, but it is a re- very rewarding job. I'm excited to go to work every day. I'm excited for my next duty assignment that I want to go to, even though I don't know where it's going to be. Uh, the other <laughs> part of it is I am definitely not worried about having a job. In the you future. deploy all the time. <laughs> set me up for success yep Always see set, set you up for success i do like the interviews they definitely add a lot more to the video itself dude they should have interviewed us bro because we're the fucking best that ever lived here and we're also going to put this in the uh description down below um is the link to the go army website for being a counterintelligence agent a 35 lima on it you guys will see this so it's the job overview you can be enlisted you can be active duty, you can be a army in the army reserves, you can be army national guard, and then you can be entry level. So it says you can't be an officer. It works a little bit different. You can be a chief warrant officer in CI, and then you technically can be an officer in CI, but it's like a overwatch analyst type of job mm-hmm. position. Until recently, it was only people who are in the army could transfer into the MOS, but now you can actually sign a contract for this MOS. We do need more heads in counterintelligence, smart, critical thinking people, but it's hard when we have to wait for you for four years and then, you know, you 
want to go do something else or you're just sick of the fucking army in general and you want to get out right. and we're like no we'll give you a better life over here on the ci side just just trust us but yeah and it says you know as a counterintelligence special agent you'll conduct investigations collect and process forensics and physical evidence to identify and detect foreign intelligence and international terrorist threats uh, and plan to the appropriate countermeasures to neutralize them there's a lot more that goes into it this website's kind of what changed right over the last couple months yeah it gives a very generic overview but again, with that and this video, you can get a better sense of what the job actually entails. So yeah. it says like identify and detect. It says foreign intelligence. We call them FIE. So F-I-E, it's foreign intelligence entities. And then next to it says international terrorist threats. We call them, uh, they're ITOs, international terrorist organizations. And that's kind of where your job will, tr will truly lie. And that among uh, espionage investigations. And then on the side it says skills you'll learn, intelligence collection, identify and investigate, and then national security, which is like the big hitter. Um, and that's mm -hmm. why I think a lot of people will be so successful once you go to this job is if you want to work for like the government, you want to work for like the <laughs> CIA or FBI or whoever the fuck, this is going to push you in the right fucking direction. I promise you, mm -hmm. because in-house too, we have our own in-house schools. So you'll get to go to FLETC, same schools FBI people are going to. They'll be like, oh, you're a counterintelligence guy? They're like, oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, cool. Another cool thing to think about is the army is like the only branch that has a specific counterintelligence MOS because you'll have yep. the Marine Corps. They have their own Intel guys that work in, a, in, in a counterintel role, but that's not their specific job. Save with air force, they have their OSI. Yep. And then for us, we have CID, which is kind of like, which helps us with all the criminal stuff. Yeah. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure in the comments, if you guys know, and we can do, do a video on, uh, um, OSI in the future, but mm. OSI is like the air forces, um, CID and CI put together and mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, OSI is federal, aren't they technically? I think, I think them and NCIS are there. Cause I think NC, NCIS are technically like federal agents as well. Yeah. They're so they're like the FBI's of the military. Those two, mm -hmm. if we were to actually put it in like perspective, cause <laughs> technically yeah. they have more power than us, but we're able to go and do more shit because we can do foreign and or we can do international and domestic shit. Do your research. If you like this shit, look into, like Theo said, uh, NCIS and OSI and CI. And like, you know, there's this, this Intel world and investigative world is so fucking cool. And it's so much bigger than you think. Yeah, check you know? it out. All right, team, that's it. Told you guys, you guys want to learn something new about Theo over at Combat Arms Channel once again. Go give him a fucking follow. We are going to do a lot more things together. I hope you guys learned something new. Please let me know down below in the comments if you guys learned anything new. I would love to hear it, and I would love to hear other things you guys want to see involving the uh, counterintelligence world. Like I said, if you guys like the type of content, go ahead and like it. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike this video. And let me know if you guys think we're just full of shit. I'd love to know what you guys don't like about these videos or like what you can't see, what you want to see. I, I want to get very interactive about this because I'd love to start doing it live. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We post two to three times a week. Make sure you hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.